fall protection. If you're working at height, it is important that you practice it. Not just for your own safety, but because it's the law. If you are unfamiliar with the regulations and how to use it properly, this can lead to serious fines from OSHA. Or worse, serious injury or death. You can't claim ignorance and OSHA doesn't accept excuses. In the next five minutes, we're going to get you caught up with the basics of fall protection procedures and regulations. If you've got a few minutes, you can save yourself a lot of trouble in the future. My name is Ben, and this is the Lifting and Rigging Channel. We sat down with Brian Heiss from Malta Dynamics, a company that specializes in fall protection and safety, to learn the basics of fall protection. So, let's get into it. Fall protection is literally to protect you in the event of a fall, not just to catch you, but also to restrain you from having a fall. Um, it's the equipment that is encompassed within fall protection, so your safety harnesses, your SRLs, SRDs, yo-yos, whatever you want to call them. Um, so fall protection is kind of an all-encompassing um, idea. Fall restraint, some people explain it like it's sort of like a dog leash. So it's only going to allow you to go so far. So it's going to prevent you from getting to the edge where you could potentially have a fall. It will not allow you to get to that edge. Fall arrest is to catch you if you do have a fall. So the hierarchy of controls are basically the steps you want to take before you make your plan. Every instance where you're going to have a, the possibility of a fall, you want to go through these steps and the hierarchy is a good base to start with. So you want to start with, is there anything we can do to eliminate the hazard? Is this something we can do without risking anybody in a fall. If that's not possible, the next best thing you can do is to put your workers in a fall restraint situation so they cannot get to the edge where they could have a fall. You're using a lanyard or something like that to keep that worker from getting to the edge where there's a potential for a fall. If neither of those two work, your third option would be fall arrest. Um, that's where the X-Series mobile grabber would come in. So to catch a worker if they fall. If none of those work, your last option is monitors, warning lines, things of that nature, limited access. OSHA states that your workers need to be tied off if you're gonna reach a point above four feet for general industry, above six feet for construction industry. Those are the two major ones. Um, and then you get into other things such as scaffolding is 10 feet and steel erection is 15 feet. So say you have a customer, they're offloading steel off a flatbed truck. Okay, there, the potential for fall is actually pretty high with this type of stuff. And the only system that will work with this type of scenario would be a fall arrest system. So you would back the X-Series mobile grabber up to there, hang it over, and while you have a worker up there tying off, rigging up for the steel to be picked off, um, they're safe, they're tied off, they're protected if they do slip. This is what it takes to complete a full fall arrest system. In my training that I do for this, I actually classify as ABCDs. So the X-Series Mobile Grabber is a fall arrest system. So to complete your full fall arrest system, you need an A, your anchorage, which would be the X-Series Mobile Grabber. You need a B, your body harness, so your full body harness used with the grabber. Your C is your connector. So it needs to be kind of a double action carabiner which comes with um, just about any SRL that you ever get. And the last thing, the D that we add to it is your deceleration device. So your SRL, um, SRD, yo-yo, whatever you want to call it. So all those are what encompass a complete fall arrest system. So the harnesses, if you have a 150 pound guy compared to a 270 pound guy, you're not going to be able to use the same harness you're gonna have to get different sizes. So make sure your harnesses are sized correctly. Make sure they're fitted correctly and worn correctly. 
Make sure you understand the PPE being used. That's an essential thing. So you still need to know and understand the SRL that you're gonna use. You need to know and understand the tools you're using. When working at height, the first question you should ask yourself is do I need to be up here? Is there a safer way to do this from the ground? You need to understand the rules and regulations and always keep your own personal safety as your number one priority. We've created this visual guide to help you remember the hierarchy of controls. This should help you work through your fall protection plans and serve as a reminder to keep safety in mind. And you can download it for free using the link in the description. I hope after watching this video, you have a clear idea of the basics of fall protection. If you found this video useful, informative, entertaining, or you just feel like being friendly, then hit that like button so we can get this information out to everyone who needs it. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. If you have a question, drop it in the comments so we can get you an answer. Stay safe while working at height. My name is Ben, and I'll see you in the next one.